I'm Al Roker, and welcome back to Brain Attack, a stroke survival guide. The correct answer to where a stroke takes place is in the brain. Now, there's no typical stroke survivor, although most are over 60, and African Americans are twice as likely to have a stroke than Caucasians due to a higher incidence of diabetes, high blood pressure, smoking, and sickle cell anemia, according to the National Stroke Association. I've been a newsman for a long time. I've been lucky enough to cover some amazing events and interview some pretty incredible people. At one time, a CBS News personality, and most recently, an anchorman in Orlando, Florida. Mark McEwen was on an airplane when he suffered a stroke two years ago. It was in November of 2005, and um, I was at the airport, and um, something didn't feel quite right. So I went to the counter, and um, they took me to a hospital, and the doctor thought I misdiagnosed me and thought I had the flu, and sent me home. Two days later, I flew, and I had another stroke. And the airlines um, put me curbside and left me there. And um, I kept trying to uh, dial up my wife seven times. She said, um, hand the phone to someone who uh, can help you. Mark ended up in a coma with a bleak prognosis. I almost died. When I woke up, there was my father, my sisters, my brother, my best friends. That's when I knew something major was wrong. Losing his strength and his ability to speak was a major blow for Mark, who was a popular anchorman in Central Florida. I was at what they call the top of my game. I was a uh, national uh, weatherman interviewer, and um, down here I was on the uh, I was an anchor. But my wife, the caregiver, Denise. Um, Every day, loaded up the van and took me into town to uh, have rehab on my voice, on my hand, uh, uh, on my balance. And um, she's been great. She's been great. She is um, the rock for me. We'll see later what Mark is doing to get back on the air as a healthcare reporter for WKMG in Orlando. Let's go to Orlando, Florida to check in on Mark McEwen, former CBS anchor and weatherman who had a devastating stroke on an airplane two years ago. There are things that you have to deal with every day until the next pitch is thrown. So I'd say every day I read aloud for an hour. Uh, I, I read the Washington Post, the LA Times, the New York Daily News, and um, I read uh, uh, online because it mimics a teleprompter. Mark plans to return to WKMG as a healthcare reporter within the next few months. I went back to my station in um, March, and um, going back was hard, but it was great. It was great. The station here has been great. The people here have been great. Um, Orlando has been great. With the help and encouragement of his wife, Denise, their two daughters and twin sons, Mark is making a comeback. Along with Della Reese, he's working with the National Stroke Association to improve public awareness of stroke treatment and prevention. I can't believe that the third leading cause of death in this country, the number one cause of long-term disability in this country, is kind of shunted aside. In fact, funding for stroke research in 2006 was only $343 million. Compare that with the estimated $5.5 billion spent on cancer research and the $2.3 billion spent on cardiovascular disease, according to the National Institutes of Health. People tend to give up. I don't want people to give up. I want them to have hope, uh, keep fighting. It's hard, but it's getting there every day, every day. And uh, hopefully um, this will be one of my memories.